Since my first review on Gorilla Mode, I have gotten nothing but more questions about the flavor profiles of both Mode and Nitric. So I'm here today to do part one of Nitric. We have four different flavors and I will do my best to describe to you exactly what they taste like and give you my rating based on my taste buds. To be 100% upfront, I am a Gorilla Mind athlete. However, I was using their products before I was actually sponsored. And the reason I got sponsored is because I like their products so much that I asked to be a part of the company. With that being said, let's get into it. I'm just gonna go right to left. So let's start with our black blender bottle. This is Moho Mojito. I've had every one of these besides Jungle Juice before, but it'll give a much better comparison when I'm able to drink them side by side. The thing that I love about the nitric pre-workouts is that there's not as much of those, those harsh ingredients that take away from the actual flavor profile of the pre-workout itself. For instance, this tastes so much better, even though it's the same flavor profile, than Gorilla Energy because Gorilla Energy has more harsh tasting products that are harder to cover up with the flavor profile itself. But man, this does taste really good. I mean, if you've ever had a mojito, it's like a suedo mojito flavor. This is another one of those pre-workouts that if it was made into like an energy drink or a soda, I could definitely drink this on its own. I would give this a good 8.6 out of 10. Extremely, extremely good. All right, next up, Tiger's Blood. This has coconut in it. Going into the first review, I didn't know that it had coconut in it and it didn't go so well for me. So I'm probably not gonna rate this too high, but let's see. It's really sweet and it goes down and I don't taste any coconut, but the aftertaste is super coconutty. Now, if you like coconut and you like like pina colada, there's I think three different types of flavors that they try to get combined into tiger, Tiger's Blood. This is very good but it's just not for me. So similar to what I remember from the last one, I'm gonna give this like a 6.2 out of 10, but this could easily be an eight out of 10 for someone that likes coconut. It's just not my thing. By the way, no matter how I actually think these taste, these have the highest amount of active ingredients out of any pump product that I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure this has over 15 or 16 grams of active ingredients in each and every scoop, which is, insane if you actually look at labels of pre-workouts to see what their pump products actually include most of them are a what's that called proprietary blend that doesn't even tell you how much of each ingredient is in it and the proprietary blend is only like five ingredients or five grams or seven grams this per scoop is 17 and a half or 17 and three quarter grams I mean, come on. This is jungle juice. I've never had the jungle juice in nitric form, so we shall see how it tastes. This supposedly has coconut in it, but hopefully it is not as strong, at least for my preferences. I was waiting for the aftertaste to see if it tasted like coconut, but I'm not tasting any coconut at all. I feel like the other flavors that they try to put in here were way more potent. Moho Mojito is more like citrusy, lemony, mojito-like, while this one is just like three or four different fruits blended up and made into a pre-workout. This one is very good. If you don't like coconut, don't let it fool you that this is gonna taste like coconut because I hate it and I don't even get a hint of coconut at all. This is damn near the Moho Mojito ranking. Uh, I would give it the same thing, like 8.6 out of 10. Extremely good, and I would drink this as like an energy drink or a soda once again. Volcano Burst, I have a lot of experience with. I will tell you right now, I love it, and I will try to describe to you the best I can. <laughs> the best I can what the flavor profile tastes like. By the way, each one of these has about 14 ounces of water mixed with two scoops of nitric. So that's like what I think is the perfect amount of not too much water, but not too little water. It's so hard to describe. Like some people say it's like Skittles. I definitely don't think it tastes like actual Skittles, but it's almost like melon and sweetness overload. If you don't like it super sweet, I would not get this one or the tiger's blood it's still sweet the moho mojito and the jungle juice but it's just not as sweet as the last two to me it almost tastes like melon mixed with cantaloupe just like a tropical type of flavor this is my favorite pre-workout flavor 
of all time thus far. I gotta give this like a 9.4 out of 10. The only reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because nothing is a perfect 10. That leaves no room for something to be better. But this is still the top of the top ranking as far as Gorilla Mode pre-workouts go. And if you guys didn't know, using my code helps me out a ton. It's a big chunk of what I make and that's why I always say how much I appreciate you guys for using my code. So if any of these are of interest to you, use code E4CM, you get 10% off your purchase. And I would definitely wait till they have a sale every Monday or almost every Monday. They have a sale on at least one of the nitric flavors. And when you get the three tub discount, it's almost like a dollar per scoop again for the amount of ingredients and the actual scoop size you cannot beat this product i have a couple more flavors coming in the mail and once i do i will record a part two and put it here if not you should check out the first gorilla mode pre-workout review that i did on the first three flavors until next time deuces god that's so good i gotta get to the gym i'm about to have the biggest pump of my life